Join us for our journey, where we travel over 2,000 miles in two and a half days. Hey, welcome back. We're the, the Three, Three Musketeers. Musketeers! And we just finished our last show in Salt Lake City, Utah. Yeah. Now, heading back to New York. Alright guys, so join us. <laughs> <laughs> you give us a our journey starts in Salt Lake City, Utah, where we just finished our last performance, and the audience feedback was great. I thoroughly enjoyed it. I'm so glad I came tonight. I'm from Idaho, and I drove down just specifically to see Shin Yun. I've seen the billboards, I've, I've heard about it from other people, but it's a whole different experience when you get to appreciate it. Guys, it's Sam's birthday. Happy birthday, Sam! Happy birthday! Happy birthday, Sam! Happy After celebrating Sam's birthday, we got on the bus and began our journey of 2,200 miles back home. Yeah, alright guys, we're gonna show you what it's like to travel as a shaking dancer. Let's go! And Let's I'm car sick very easily, so... Uh, I'm sleepy too. Yeah, you'll see a lot of sleeping. Alright, here's Will. He's in his vegetable state. Oh, there's, there's also just sunbathing with light. <laughs> what? Light bathing. Ah! Oh, wow. You got poked by a student? What? <laughs> We just got to our hotel, yes. and uh, it's about time to sleep. We're leaving early tomorrow as well. Two more days of travel. No sleep, man. It's a party. Yeah. Ready, guys? This is ridiculous. All right, sure. Let's go okay. eat. At least you're happy. Right? All right, guys. Here at Three Musketeers, the night is always young. Let's go. This is unhealthy to sleep so late. It's unhealthy. I don't approve of this, okay? <laughs> <laughs> By the way, we just song. finished a performance today as well and loadout. You know how much goes into our performance, like loading out and everything. It's a lot of work as well. And we have two days of travel, actually. It's kind of a break day, because... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're just sitting on the bus all day, so I guess uh, once you're off the bus, and you, you can have like some exercise, you might as well get it while you still can. I think we have at least like 30 more hours of driving, like two days, so... You came into our room and he just fell asleep on the sofa. Hey guys, what's up? Right now it's 5.50. Not working. <clears throat> hey guys, what's up? Hey guys. Hey, what's up guys? Hey guys, what's up? So right now, we had a crazy light in Hey guys! Um, hey guys. 5.50 a.m. Okay. We sleep late and we get up early, okay? That's how we do it. Hey, Joe. Right now, it is 5.50 a.m. We still have to get up early and get our exercise in. So, am I right? Yeah. <laughs> so, as you can tell, we had a crazy night last night. Even though I had only three hours of sleep, we're on the bus all day, so there's no other way for us to get like any kind of movement in. So we have to wake up early and I guess run and jump or or dance like this guy is doing right now. How are we able to do this? Okay, I'm telling you, the only way to do this is self-discipline. No, not really, actually. It's more like coffee and cold showers. I'm talking a lot and I didn't run yet, so I gotta hurry. So I'll catch you guys later, alright? Alright guys, I just finished my workout. Now I'm gonna get ready to go on the bus. Oh, hey, yo, here's Will. While I was working out, he was doing his hair, get his face ready, you know. Casual. 609. 609. I had three hours of sleep. How many did you have? I was up at 2 Look at this guy's eyes. 5 <laughs> Three hours of sleep as well. Alright guys, so what time is it, Will? 621 right now. Okay, wait, let me get my face smaller. Okay. <laughs> so Will, what time is it right now? 621. Okay, so we're ready for day two of our long journey back to New York. Yeah, first thing you gotta do is try to get some sleep uh, in the morning. So usually it's pretty easy to fall asleep, but uh, sometimes I just sit there for like okay. I'm tired but I can't fall asleep. Will is a vegetable in the bus. I'll show you guys later, okay? See you guys later. As long as I can fall asleep.
so right now we're in Nebraska. We just drove like five hours. Oh, Will has ice cream. Yay. That's what he eats for lunch with a burger and fries. So let me give you a salad. No. Gas stations always have hot, these hot water, like dispensers, so you can make ramen there. Yeah, yeah. Like that. Go, go to get a pleasure that later. Okay, yes, well, coffee. thanks for saying that on, on the recording. Okay, cool. That's important. Well, you used to talk like two times faster when you're on the camera. They just chill. I'm really excited right now. Why? <laughs> so angry. Putting some, uh, what is this? Ice cream on his chicken nuggets? <laughs> I guess it's a Taiwanese thing. Right now we're at a yet another gas station. And what are we gonna eat? Noodles. We failed already, we opened up too much. I'm gonna critique you, the pressure's on. Oh no, I didn't open the packet big enough. <laughs> uh, so, you opened the lid too much and you didn't open the powder. I'm so nervous right now, okay, anyways. Okay. Most gas stations in America have free hot water. Perfect if you wanna make some instant ramen. Just make sure you don't accidentally get coffee instead. It's happened before and it does not taste good. Right. Good job, Sam. You is did good. it. You know how to make instant this noodles. Okay. You're, you're a master chef now. You have to, you have to fold this place down so it doesn't come up. Yeah, we need to start a Three Musketeers cooking channel. Yeah, we do. Now we need to find. You folded it down, the steam's coming out the side. <laughs> Amazing. Alright, guys, we're living the life right now. We're at a gas station and we're eating noodles. So we got. Alright, guys, so we're living the life right now. We're eating noodles. At a gas station. When, when will you be, you will be able to just, you know, do it in one go? Yeah, when can you be like me? We'll see you guys at the hotel, okay? From Wyoming to Illinois, we traveled about 1,000 miles in one day. After eating nothing but instant noodles and fast food, we needed some real food. It doesn't look great, but it's awesome. Okay, so it's like porridge with um, pig ears and wood ears and cucumbers. It doesn't look good, but it's really good. I'm eating some soup and it's really good because when my lunch was ramen, instant noodles, my dinner was instant noodles, <laughs> now I have some soup. Kim, what are you eating besides sweets? Oh, I just ate some watermelon. <laughs> and it's 12.40, we're gonna get some food and we're gonna go to sleep and tomorrow we're leaving at 7.30. 7.15, sir. Andrew. <laughs> Alright, so we're here at the gas station. But it's okay. I'm able to get up. You know why? Because of good old coffee. Burger chef that I just bought. Okay, so Maddie, here's the first cup. Tell us how it tastes. Tastes like coffee. <laughs> Very good. Tastes like coffee. Aromatic. Part of the beans really came out. And um, there's definitely a lot of sweetness. And the yogurt chef usually has a little bit of a sour taste, but I like that. Bye. All right, Russo. I know you're busy kicking, but have a little sip of coffee first. Mm. All right, guys. I just finished my workout. Now we'll take a shower and get ready to go on the bus. See you guys later. All right guys, so we're getting ready for day three of our journey to New York. Okay. Yes, we're gonna arrive today. Let's go. It's the last leg of our journey, let's go. For lunch, we had instant noodles and fast food once again. To be honest, I was getting pretty tired of it by now. Alan, why do you do this ice cream and chicken nugget combo? Why? Does it taste good? Then, we continued on our way to New York. Uh, Matthew, do you have a bubble tea that you can drink? Uh, Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. All right, guys, so right now we're in Philadelphia. We're at KFC. I'm so sorry. I don't know what he's talking about. All right, anyways, we're getting dinner at KFC. Someplace in America. Or someplace on Earth. <laughs> Wait, somebody do something cool in front of the bus. Go! Good job, Maddie. Out to the bus. Finally, our journey of over 2,000 miles was coming to an end, and we made it back to New York. Hey, Sam, we're finally back. We did it. Yay! Yeah. Back home. Hey, guys, we're the Three Musketeers. This is 
is an intro outro. This is not an intro. So I'm surprised that you always fail. Sam always fails. Let's go. Thanks, that helps my confidence. It's up. fine. No, let's go. All right, guys, we're back in New York. Finally. Yes. Yeah. That was a really awesome tour, but if you guys liked that video, please like, comment, and subscribe. We're out! Awesome tour. Let's go to sleep. Go back, go back, go back. Okay. 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 So what was wrong with that? Uh, nothing. Okay. Okay, it's good. Bye! So that <laughs> this is how we light on the bus. Alright, check this out. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> we got Matthew here with a phone light. All right, guys. So join us. <laughs> <laughs> what am I supposed to say? I don't. You want to take a time? We just finished the last show, so you let me talk. Now we're gonna drive back to the to New York. Oh, he says that. Yeah. Oh, okay. Sorry, sorry. Okay.